Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we'll see how we can create an AWS S3 bucket using serverless framework. So to do, uh, in order to do that, we have some uh, requirements we need to have on our machines. That is a serverless framework installed, and we need to have an AWS account. So let's let's go ahead and create and install a serverless framework on our machines. So to do that, uh, we need to simply go to the AWS. Uh, sorry, simply we need to go to the serverless framework, and then type this command npm install ipng serverless. I'm just copying it from here, and we'll paste it in a command prompt. So I have a command prompt here, and we'll type npm install ipng serverless, and, and simply enter. So what this will do is it will install the serverless framework on, on our machine. I'm not doing this because I have already installed this on, a, on my machine. We need to AWS account. Just go to the AWS management console. And there you will see a sign up button. And then from there you can create new AWS account. If you're new to AWS, you can simply go here and just fill in some details. That is email address, password, confirm password. AWS account name. This is uh, any account name which we can use for login. So once uh, you go to the next step, because I have already set up AWS account, I'm not doing these steps. So on the next step, it will ask for your address information, and on the third step, it will ask for billing details that may that can be your debit or a credit card, and on the fourth step, it will ask for mobile number where well, it will be validated with an OTP. And on the fifth step, the registration is completed and you will have your account active uh, within within minutes. So once that is done, we are good to start. Yeah. So as I have already an account, I'll simply go to sign in button and once you will log into AWS, this is the landing page. From there we can go to serverless go to S3. And there all the S3 buckets will be listed. So I have uh, only one bucket uh, listed here. So I'll, I'll tell you why this bucket is for. So we'll create another bucket from serverless. To do that, we need to have an IAM user set up for our, con for our uh, CLI user. Or our so log into AWS. We need to have an IAM user who has a programmatic access to perform some actions on AWS. So we'll go ahead and create an, a user with, with the pro programmatic access. So if you don't know I am, I'll create a separate, separate video for this part. I'll simply go to users. And we'll, I have already two users uh, here. I'll create another user. Let's say CLI happen demo happen user. And this will have only programmatic access. I'll not be using this user to to access this console. Means I can't log in AWS console using this user. So I'll simply create a new user with the programmatic access. We'll provide some permissions. For now, I am just using uh, the admin access for this CLI user. But this I'll be removing. This is not a good practice. This is not a secure way to, to have. But for this purpose, I'm just doing that. The tag is optional. And this will create a new user for us. These uh, these are the access and the secret keys that we'll be using to deploy our resource. So I'll simply go ahead and copy this. So I have copied the access key and the secret key, but we need to them in a secret place, or we need to delete those once we are done. That is copied then my user is created what i'll do is i'll go to command prompt and will config serverless using these access keys and secret keys to do that to do that we have we have a command that is serverless 
config credentials that is setting of the credentials and my provider is aws key is uh, the one which created is the access key and my secret key is this and there's one override plan this will override all the existing credentials we have set up previously so these are the latest credentials once that is done it will set up serverless using these credentials so you can see and this is setting up aws now it is set up so i'll simply go to the visual studio code where i have created a separate project which will be creating an s3 bucket I have opened a uh, VS Code where I have created a separate project. So this project is basically creating a serverless bucket, creating a bucket using serverless framework. So I'll tell you all these details what this is used for. Basically, if, if we refer this is serverless template, the serverless provides us a template following which we can create resources. So here uh, this is the latest release which is will go ahead one by one the properties this is my service name that will be deploying this is plugin and this is my provider so let, let's skip this for now so we'll we will complete this in we'll complete this after a few minutes so here this is my service name it's provider name region in which which region we are creating this bucket the stage stage is basically environment that is a dev environment or production this is stack name so whatever we deploy gets create it creates an stack cloud formation stack so that stack name will be created from this project and this is my resources section where we'll put all the resources that needs to be created this is my s3 bucket this is an s3 bucket that will be of type s3 bucket and the bucket name so this is the simplest thing we need to do we we'll simply go ahead and we'll go to the command prompt you see the command so it is we are in that directory we'll simply go to the uh, well less deploy and i can stage to dev let's say we are deploying this to dev and simply hit enter start packaging this success it may take some time i'm just pausing the video and we'll resume once that is done It has created this tag. It is uploading a file to S3, uploading artifacts, validating template, and updating stack. So if you can see, these are the various steps that is performed by serverless, and the bucket is being created in the background on a You can see uh, the buckets created. These are the value information provided on by serverless framework. So if we simply go to console, and then we can see. If the bucket is created or not, we'll simply go to S3. And there it will list the bucket we have created. This is a cloud project. This my C my bucket created from server list is created at 12.26. Now if, if we if we look in our uh, server list template. there we can see the bucket name we have provided was my bucket created from source same bucket is created and there's another bucket 
which gets created from serverless. So what serverless does in the background is it creates a cloud formation template and its internal files. It keeps it in a separate bucket. So whenever we deploy anything from serverless, it creates a bucket and it puts serverless folder inside and it keeps all the metadata and the project and the template in this, in this bucket in a zip format. So to avoid this, to create multiple buckets in our every deployment, we need to have a single bucket where we can store all the deployments. So to do that, we'll simply go to, we'll simply remove this one. can simply remove this so this is the command serverless remove hyphen hyphen stage dev so what will do it will remove all these texts all the resources that are created from this template or from this project so I have typed this command this will this will list all the things and it will remove all the things from cloud so as we can see here, it is deleting all the resources and it has completed the deletion. If we go to AWS console and we refresh this, and if we refresh this, we'll see all the buckets, all the two buckets were gone. This bucket I have created previously. So now I'll show you how we can use this bucket for storing our, all the serverless files. Let's simply go ahead and do that. We'll go to our Visual Studio and there the things we have commented previously will uncomment those so there are various plugins provided by AWS which we can use while using serverless framework so there is a plugin what it says is it says that all the, the bucket which serverless uses to store all its dependencies and files it will go in this bucket so as I have already created this bucket manually, so I will simply type the name of the bucket where it will store all its files and we need to mention this plugin here. So once this is done, we need to install it in our project. I have already installed, so I will simply go to the terminal window and just come type this command. What this will do, it will install this dependency in our project. And we simply need to just run the command again. That is serverless deploy. We'll simply go to serverless deploy. Hyphen is equal to dev. And this will again do the same process, but this time it will not create the default bucket or the random bucket which was created earlier. Rather, it will use the one which we have specified in our project in our serverless template so you can see it is uh, packaging the service using deployment bucket cloud projects because we have added the plugin here it is taking that bucket and second doing all the stuff that it was that we have uh, seen earlier i'll pause the video and come back again once this is done it may take some time yeah, so we can see it has created all these texts, all the uh, things it is showing here. So if we go back to the console and we can simply just refresh this page and here we can see only this time this bucket has got created. This is the bucket which we have specified. This is the bucket I wanted to create. And this is the bucket which is storing all the serverless dependencies. So it is a serverless install. So all these things it has stored. And yeah, we're done. Now in our next video, we'll see how we can create a lambda function.
using serverless framework. So if you like the video, please share and subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching.